Hi, my name is Dave. I'm a member of the Profile Development Team here at Intuit. In this video, we'll walk through some of the basic functionality of Profile's classic database. To enable the classic database in Profile, select the Options pull-down menu, choose Database, and select the Use Classic Database option. Notice in the configuration screen, I can select the path for each database file. This helps me when I'm trying to set up a network configuration, where I've got profile installed on the local machine, and the database might be on a network. When I click OK, profile has added a database pull-down menu that I will use to access the database and all of its functionality. The classic database will show me all of my clients by module and by year. Across the top of the dialog, there's four tabs, one for each type of tax return that I may prepare. The down arrow within the tab lets me choose other years. So if I want to look at my database of clients from 2008, I would select 2008. For now, let's stay with 2009. From here, I can choose to carry forward a file, open a file, delete or move or archive. I can export data from the database, or I can create a report based on client information from the database. I've also got the option for batch printing and batch carry forward. For now, I'm going to select open a file. Clicking open brings up the Profile Classic Database dialog box. The main area of the Classic Database dialog on the left side contains some options for searching for clients and a list of clients by last name and social insurance number. Beneath that main area there's a little smaller box that contains some detailed information including the file status. To use the search I simply start typing the last name of the person I am looking for. As I type, Profile will scroll down the list and find the relevant client. Towards the right in the dialog box, I have the option to filter my list of clients based on client status or e-file status. I choose the filters simply by checking or unchecking the different boxes that are listed here. I also have some tabs to select other filter options. For example, I can select filters based on TP1 statuses, send statuses, as well as a few other options. To open a file, I simply select the client's name from the filtered list on the left hand side and click the Open button. To cancel, I can click the red X in the upper right hand corner of the database dialog. The other database functions are accessed in exactly the same way and they bring up a very similar dialog box. I choose Database and then choose the option that I want to do. For example, if I want to batch print a large number of files, I select Batch Printing, and I see the same dialog box for the database. The biggest difference is now I've got a checkbox down the left-hand side of the client list where I can choose the clients that I want to print. The Open button in the upper right-hand corner has now become a Batch Print button. Clicking this will trigger the printing of these tax returns. Again, to cancel, I just click the red X in the upper right hand corner. That brings us to the end of the classic database video. Thank you for choosing Profile. For more information, visit us at profile.intuit.ca.